everyone. It has been a while. I'm sorry I have fallen off. I've been so busy with work. I'm writing a new cookbook that my manuscript is due July 1st, so that's coming up really soon. And I'm working on a new meal plan with Michelle that I'm really excited about. And we're also doing our mini documentary series that we've been posting about on Instagram. So yeah, it's been really busy, but I wanna get back in the kitchen for some regular YouTube videos. I was trying to do weekly and I was good for a minute, but yeah, I got really busy. So I wanna create some normalcy and get back to my routine. So I'm starting off with the basics that I eat and it pretty much goes like this every weekend. I do uh, a loaf of bread. I make a loaf of sourdough bread and I can create a, a link below or share a link below for a good starter that you can make or a good regular free formed with yeast. And I'm also gonna make a soup using my own soup stock, which is really easy to make. I can also create or add a link below for you to see that too. I'm doing a half whole wheat, half all purpose flour loaf. And I already did it last night and it's been sitting out. So it's smelling really sour and delicious. I'm gonna cover it. A lot of people use Dutch ovens, but they're really expensive. So I just use a Pyrex dish with a glass lid and you have to make sure that they bake at the temperature which you're going to bake. And my temperature is really high. It's gonna be 500 degrees. I did not show myself putting it in because I don't wanna burn my hand, but there it is. Yeah. If you're baking your own bread, be very careful. Use full oven mitts the kind that cover your whole hand because I only have one full oven mitt and then I use this really cute Food Not Bombs oven mitt that doesn't cover my whole hand and sadly last week I burned my hand and it was so bad. Like I have never burned myself and it was at 500 degrees and I got a headache and I got really tired afterward and yeah so just spare yourself, use full oven mitts. I also did a bunch of research about how how burns affect you and how they're the number one injury in the household. So when you're cooking with oil or with your oven, be very, very careful. And as usual, I'm only starting off my morning with some fruit. Today I'm choosing pineapple because it was $1.98 for a pineapple, whole pineapple at Sprouts. So I picked one up and I cut it up. I've eaten a lot of it already. Paul doesn't like it, so I get the whole thing to myself. This one is really, really, really juicy. I really love these reusable Ziploc bags. I'm trying to switch out a lot of my single-use plastic items and found these on Amazon. I'll include a link below because I love them so much. Yeah, they're really great. You can boil them, you can throw them in the dishwasher, they're freezer friendly. And so yeah, I'm thawing out my vegetable stock that I made using vegetable scraps. And I'm gonna throw it in the pressure, with, pressure cooker with some vegetables. It started to get really hot, so I removed the plastic part because I saw that it was starting to warp a little bit. And then I remembered reading that you're not supposed to keep the little plastic part on. So note, if you buy these, don't boil them with the plastic. So just do what I'm doing right now and boil in a small pot like that. And then I'm just gonna transfer that directly to the pressure cooker. Do you want this, like this, and I'm just gonna pour it all in there. The rest will be thawed out while it's cooking. In my soup, I'm adding a bunch of stuff that's about to go bad. I've had it for a while, and this can be anything in your refrigerator. You can add whatever you want that's about to expire, but in my refrigerator, I've got this half onion that obviously I didn't cut. Paul cut it. I don't cut my onions that way. I cut them the other way. And then I have this that has been in there for quite some time. It's turning a little bit lighter colored, so I wanna use that. I cut this up for a salad. It's just different cabbages and some grated carrots. 
Then I've got these carrots that look kind of sad. They've been in there for a really long time. And then, uh, oh, look at these produce bags. So these are some of the produce bags that I've been using and I love them. I can also link those below. They help me avoid using plastic at the grocery store. I just bring them and then put all my produce in there and my bulk items. I bet I'll use some of this cabbage. I also have another cabbage, but eh, I don't know. I, I think I'm only gonna do one cabbage today. I'll show you what they're looking like when I cut them up. So far I've cut up my onions and my carrots. And uh, as you can see, I use the whole celery. I don't throw away the leaves. When I was taught to cook originally, my grandma who taught me how to cut them, she removed the leaves and tossed them. I don't do that, but I do not use the very bottom of this. And instead you'll see that I'm saving a little pile and I'll make vegetable stock, like the one that I used in the soup or that I'm about to use in the soup. Uh, you just cook these up. Again, I'll include a link and it's super easy. So my soup is looking like right now. This looks like a sweet potato, but it's still the frozen stock. And I'm about to dump this in there with one hand, that's awkward. Looks like I'm not gonna have enough stock for as many veggies, veggies that I'm doing, so I'm gonna put in a bouillon cube and some water. So I threw in the bouillon cube and I used this because I don't wanna dirty another dish and because I wanna get all that yummy food that's in there out of there so that I'm not wasting it. Oop. I almost forgot the best thing garlic, Ugh. I'm doing a teaspoon, a full teaspoon. Got a half garlic, of course. This is gonna melt and then the water will raise, or the broth will raise. And I'm gonna throw it in the pressure cooker for five minutes and it'll be perfect when it comes out. Five minutes. And again, you can do anything you want with this. You can you can use cookies or quinoa or rice or anything. You can use whatever vegetables you want. This is just what I have, and this is the clean out your fridge edition of my lunch. So yeah, I just did a bunch of random stuff, but you can make sure that you use all of your produce that's about to expire. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite. Getting fresh bread out of the oven. I love it so much. You'll see that mine has a funny shape, and that is because I use a bowl instead of the Dutch oven. I would love to buy a Dutch oven, but they're so expensive. Even the one at Target is a little bit out of my price range. It's like, I think, I don't know. I'll include the one that I am looking at purchasing. It's on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. And if you buy it, you can let me know if you like it. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Still steaming, you can see. Oh, beautiful. I am just gonna eat my bread like this. You can put some hummus or avocado, or you can make a little sandwich with hummus and avocado and some cherry tomatoes or regular tomatoes or onions or whatever you want, sprouts. Uh, do what you want but I'm just gonna eat it like this. I just got another Amazon package that I've been waiting for. More of these reusable bags. When I go to the grocery store, I buy so many things in bulk. I buy bulk rice and beans and lentils. And I loved the first batch that I got. I got nine of them and I think they were like $13 on Amazon. And I, I have so many more things than just nine items to buy. I have like 15 bulk ingredients and like 10 different types of produce. So uh, I bought a lot more. And I bought them in different sizes. They're like really jumbo sized ones, but then they're also the kind that are really like this big. And these I put in like cucumbers. I would get two or three cucumbers and that's perfect for this. And I also got some reusable straws. I don't use straws at my house, but I have guests who sometimes want straws 
And so I bought some reusable gold straws and they have both the, sorry, ah, they have both the curved ones and the straight ones. And also with my cookbook coming out, I don't want to have plastic straws or paper straws even because I want to promote reusable straws. So this has finished. What I like to do, because mine sprays steam all over the place and it can mess up the, ah, it can mess up the wood. I just throw a little bit, a little towel over it. I'm not sure that you're supposed to do that, but it's so light and it just stops the spraying and I've been doing it for the year that I've had this thing and it has not caught on fire or anything bad, but that's just what I like to do. It's hard to clean up afterward because all you want to do is eat the food that you just made, but it's so important to get in the habit of cleaning as you go. So I just sprayed down my counters. I threw everything in the dishwasher. Right now I feel so privileged to have a dishwasher for the first time in my adult life. I am 31 years old and I've never had a dishwasher since I've moved out of my parents' house. Actually, for one moment I had a, like a, a really janky, sad, portable dishwasher that we never used. We just used for extra counter space. So yeah, I have a dishwasher. Hello, dishwasher. And I try to clean up as I go because if I let it build up, then I feel uninspired to get back in the kitchen. To clean as you go. Looks so yummy. I found one more thing that I can throw in there. I have half of a can, of a small can of tomato sauce and I'm just gonna pour that in there. Mix it around. Yum. Depending on how it tastes, I may add some miso, I may add some spices, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know when it cools down in a little bit. I also realized that I have some cut up parsley that I'm just gonna take and, oh, not all of it's cut, but I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there because I have it and I wanna use it before it goes bad. And you can do this with whatever herbs that you may have. So now my refrigerator is looking a little bit more easy to navigate, so next we have to figure out how we're going to use the rest of the onion. I have some beans left over, uh, a dressing that I made, some vegan cheese. Uh, then I have some cashew cream that's just a little tiny bit, and uh, tomatoes. Yeah, so I have to figure out how I'm going to use some random olives. Uh, before I go grocery shopping, and I want to use as much of this stuff as possible. Also, I just added some yellow miso for a little bit of extra flavor. Paul had a great idea to use these beans that need to be used, they're homemade beans that I did in the pressure cooker, add them to the soup. Added the beans and now our soup has protein and a little bit more texture. Okay, I'm trying this food photography thing because I want my food to look prettier and yeah, it's really hard. It took me like 10 minutes to get one good picture. It is 3 p.m. now and I'm gonna have a mango for a snack. I think that this one's gonna be a really juicy one. It's feeling pretty soft. And I was right. It's my favorite color of mango on the inside. All right, I am leaving Sprouts. You can see it right there. And sorry, I accidentally cut off the camera. I've been running errands and I'm always hungry when I'm done running errands. So uh, I bought some bananas so that I don't get angry or uh, pass out or I don't know. I just, I always get hungry when I go grocery shopping and sometimes they make really bad impulse purchases. So I'm trying to eliminate that by just buying a couple extra bananas that I can eat immediately after grocery shopping. It is now 7 p.m. and I'm just getting started on dinner so I'm going to do something a little bit quick and this is something that I do regularly where I just put a grain on the pressure cooker and in the pressure cooker and 
today I'm choosing rice and then I'm doing some frozen produce and I'm sauteing that which I'll show you all this and then I had these I'll show them to you I had these birds nests from a haul video with Michelle and I haven't had the chance to eat them yet so I'm going to throw those on there for some extra treats and yeah I'll show you doing one cup of rice with two cups of water cooking it for 20 minutes I'm starting this first since I think it takes the longest I just preheated the oven and saw that these take 10 minutes on each side with a, an oven temperature of 400. I just splashed a little bit of water in my pan because I'm gonna saute some onion and some garlic and some vegetables. I have some spinach. This was gonna go bad so I froze the whole thing. And some peas, broccoli, and then I'll serve it with when I went to Sprouts earlier, I picked up some tempeh. I think I'm going to throw it in with my sauteed veggies and use one of these packets that came with the bird's nest to flavor it. Okay, I put everything in there, including the little packets, and now I'm just sauteing it. As you can see, I chopped up my tempeh into little bite-sized pieces. Yum, 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 yum. It looks so good. Dessert was between one of these and one of these. This I made. I just put some watermelon in a blender, blended it up, and put it in some popsicle molds. And this I found yesterday. I have not yet tried it, but I'm going to, and I'll let you know how it goes. Paul thought I should let you know that I got this from Safeway and not a natural food store. Here it is. It's cute. It's kind of little. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to show it to you. Well, it's not. Oh wait, is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's really good. It is coconut milk, which is, makes me feel more comfortable because the other Hagen dazs that's in the in the jar or the, the like the pint size, it doesn't have any milk in it, and that's weird to me. This is good. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry, it has been a while. I'll try to get back on it. Thank you for watching subscribe, like my video, thank you.